According to the State Enterprises Minister William Duma, Fokker 100s and 70s are aging and need a replacement. Uh, they need replacement, especially Fokker 70s and 100s. Uh, production of those planes stopped many years ago, I think 2017, 2019 or 2008. I can't remember the exact year, but many years ago. So uh, they've gone past the use by date. So um, and the engineers have been working on a refleeting plan. Duma also revealed that Air New Guinea is looking at leasing some of the Fokker 170s to service smaller centers within the country. Boeing, of course, as you know, we've got uh, the big Boeing servicing some of the routes now. We're looking at leasing some and even acquiring some more. Uh, there's a toss up with an embryo of Brazil and uh, Airbus uh, to replace the narrow bodied uh, planes like the uh, F 70s and F 100s. Um, and also, uh, we're looking at purchasing or leasing some to uh, service uh, the smaller centers, the turbo prop planes. So, um, eventually, when Cabinet gives us the, uh, gives New Guinea the approval, New Guinea will then make a decision whether to go for Embraer or Airbus. Minister Duma further stated that with the refleeting plan, citizens will see a reduction in the ticket prices. In the meantime, the managing director for Kumul Consolidated Holdings, Professor David Kavanamur, commended the Air New Guinea Engineering Department for their tremendous efforts in ensuring the safety of all passengers traveling on Air New Guinea over the years is always a number one priority. Compliment all our Papua New Guinea, all Papua New Guinea team in the engineering uh, department. They make sure that they keep our planes uh, flying. Uh, they also are mindful of the fact that their own uh, family members fly on the same planes, their relatives on the same plane. Mm -hmm. And so they take it personally and uh, upon themselves and professionally just to make sure that safety uh, is uh, assured uh, across, across the, the board. So. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.